Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing a little fun experiment. I don't want you guys to get super technical with it. This is just for fun. Uh, my buddy Lou had the idea and I thought it was awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of three quarter cherry, just a scrap piece, make cuts with each one of these saws, cut that off and then glue those together to see what that saw line looks like. The Biggest thing that I want to point out is that the PPIs of these saws are relatively close. As we're going through this, I'll pop up the name of the saw and the PPI so you guys can see the differences there. There are also two saws here that are a hybrid. So one of them is a Japanese saw that's made for hardwood, but it can do rip cut and cross cut. It's a very high PPI, but I don't know what the PPI of it is. But I wanted to include it because I've been pretty impressed with this saw and I wanted to see how it performed. So you guys get to see it too. The other saw is the Blue Spruce Gent saw is also a hybrid. So I'm not sure how it's going to do in the tests either, but I wanted to include it. So just keep those things in mind as we move forward. For the test, we are going to be using three quarters cherry.
So I have to say, I am pretty impressed with all of these saws. I wasn't sure what to expect doing this video because I've never, I don't know that I've ever taken something straight off the saw and glued it together, but now it's making me question if I actually need to like do all of that work to make sure it's perfectly smooth because these lines look awesome. There was only one saw where the set went to the sides and you could see that in the glue line where the teeth were hitting. Um, it was one of the two aggressive saws, but what I want to do for the results is let you guys put your answers down below because I think it would be fun. So pick your top three of which ones you thought performed the best, had the cleanest glue line, however you want to word it. Top three down below in the comments so people can go look there. Um, again, please don't get technical with this. We just wanted to have fun and, and see what happens. Lou, thank you for coming up with this idea because, again, it was a blast. If you guys have any questions, any comments, anything like that, feel free to let us know down below. I hope you enjoy and have a good day.